because of this separation between what really exists and what you see when you look at a quantum system, the act of seeing, right, the act of observation or measurement plays a special role in quantum mechanics that it never played in classical mechanics. In classical mechanics, you just look and you observe the system and you see what is really there. In quantum mechanics, you need to really think carefully, carefully about what a measurement really is. And traditionally, physicists haven't thought very carefully about it, except for like a small number who really want to answer this question. So this is known as the measurement problem in quantum mechanics. What does it mean to make a measurement? What really happens? What's really going on? And people in the 1920s, Einstein and Bohr and people like that, really worried about this. They talked about it all the time. It was very, very important. But what physicists eventually decided was that they didn't need to know the answer to that question in order to keep doing physics. If you want to know how to smash two atomic nuclei together to get them to fuse, or which particles are created in a collision or something like that, it turns out you don't really need to know what's going on at the fundamental level. So this idea of understanding the measurement problem in quantum mechanics became somewhat disreputable. Thinking about that wasn't what you were supposed to do. You're supposed to do equations and you're supposed to think about what particles there are and stuff like that. And so sadly, in my mind, for decades now, physicists have simply ignored the deep questions of what's really going on in quantum mechanics. I do think the situation is getting better, and that's for a couple reasons. Number one, it's just the pure stubbornness on the part of some people who really think we should be answering these questions. Many of those people are people who got PhDs in physics and then could not get a job doing physics, so they moved to philosophy instead, where in philosophy you're allowed to think about the measurement problem of quantum mechanics. But the other reason is simply technology is getting better. Back in the days of Niels Bohr, you could sensibly say, here's a quantum mechanical system, it's very tiny, it's an electron in orbit or whatever, and there's an observer, me, I'm big, I'm classical. And it was crucially important for Bohr that the observer was treated classically, even though the thing you're looking at is quantum mechanical. There was a dividing line between the quantum realm and the classical realm. But these days, we're getting better and better at seeing quantum effects in bigger and bigger systems, systems that in the past you would have called classical. So this dividing line between quantum and classical is harder to imagine being something very fundamental, just because our technological expertise at doing experiments is getting better and better. 